So let's get started. Um, so everyone, watch graphic design. What is it? Is it design made by like electronic art? That's right. Yes. Very good. What else? Does it always have to pertain to technology? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it, it is, you know, it is related to the technology, you know, nowadays, but the, you know, the old fashioned graphic design is kind of different, but yes, yeah, it can be the answer. Yep. So uh, what's the example of graphic design, everyone? Can you tell me the specific examples by using graphic design? Um, the wallpaper that you have for your slide? Yeah. Very good. Yes, this is a graphic design. Very good. What else? Uh, does do murals count in in New York City, like the street art? Yes. Yes. Very good. Or it can be, you know, advertising or like you know film credits. You know, there are diverse things. So, um, all kinds of um, two dimensional. Um, digital art is called graphic design uh, related to the you know, commercial uh, things. So um, here's another question. So do you think graphic design is art or not? Yes. 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 Why? Because if you just take it and you, I feel like if you take the same thing and you do it with your hand, it's, it's art, just like a hard copy, like yeah. you were saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's, and it's your design. It's something you come up with and put together, mm -hmm. just like art. Mm -hmm. Because it's a creation. That's right. Yes, yes mm -hmm. it can be. Yes. So let's see uh, what the graphic design is uh, in detail. So uh, some argue that graphic design is not art because it is commercial. It is used to sell things and to make money for the client. However, works of art sometimes also promote the industry or um, typical products of a reason. So a graphic designer creates work to convey a specific message, um, avoiding um, ambiguity and um, divergent interpretations. So designers today, like artists throughout history, communicate and bend now technology to the principles of clarity and visual elegance that have been uh, at the core of graphic design for a long time. So um, graphic design has um, as its goals, um, the uh, communication of some specific message to a group of people and the success of a design is measured by now well, um, how well um, that message is conveyed. So the message might be, this is a great product to buy or this way to the elevators or restrooms or library. The graphic designers attend to the visual presentation of information as it is embodied in words and or images. So books, newspapers, magazines, advertisements, packaging, websites, television, and film credits, road signs, and corporate logos are among the many items that must be designed before they can be printed or produced. So the, the industrial revolution for its part dramatically increased the commercial applications of graphic design. So today, international commerce communications and travel continue to, to feed the, um, the need for graphic design. 
So today we're going to see four factors for um, creating a great uh, graphic design. First one is sign and symbol. And the next one is um, typography and layout. Uh, and the third one is uh, word and image. And the last one is motion and interactivity. So let's see uh, one by one. So um, the first one is uh, sign and symbols. Um, we are going to see. So um, to make it, to create sign and symbols, designer um, a designer has to consider of visual communication and the letters and lines. So visual communication is symbolic. And the letters are symbols that uh, represent sound. And uh, the lines that we use to draw representational images are symbols for perception. All right, so let's see the example. What is this sign, everyone? What's the science meaning? It's a play. Like it's a playground. Ground. Mm -hmm. The yes. park. No, tri triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that means um, you know, we all recognize the symbol for children playing. And the silhouettes of um, two children on a teeter totter appears against a yellow background. So it is one of the universal uh, symbols that communicates essential information across language barriers. And let's see a different sign. So while some signs refer to simple concepts, other symbols embody more complex ideas and associations. So the familiar LGBT flag was um, created in 1978 to um, represent uh, the gay, lesbian, uh, bisexual, and um, transgender community. So it was made by the designer Gilbert Baker. Um, as a designer, Baker thought about what flags are um, how they are seen, and what they are supposed to accomplish. So uh, most importantly, he considered how to represent the gay community in a positive and uplifting way by using the colorful rainbow color on the flag. Now let's look at um, these logos. Looks familiar with us, right? So among the uh, most pervasive symbols in our uh, visual environment today um, are logos and um, trademarks, which are symbols of an organization or a product. So Paul Rand, um, Paul Rand uh, uh, was uh, most, one of the most influential of all American graphic designers. So he designed all of this um, very famous uh, logos and uh, trademarks. So, it, so they are simple, clear, distinctive, and memorable. So uh, each of these um, corporate logos has become familiar to millions of people around us, uh, instantly calling to mind the company and its products or services. So now um, we are going to see uh, typography and layout. So um, the cultures throughout history have appreciated the visual aspects of their written language. In China, 
in Japan and in、um, Islamic cultures,、uh, calligraphy is considered an art. And in Western culture,、uh, letter for public、um, architectural、um, inscriptions have been carefully designed since the time of the ancient Romans, before、um, I mean whose alphabet we have inherited. So,、um, Albert Durer designed the well-balanced、uh, letter form. Called like typeface. So constructing each letter、uh, within a square. So Durer paid special attention to the balance of thin,、uh, of thick and thin lines, and、um, to the visual weight of the、uh, serifs, which means the sort、um, cross line.、Um, First lines that finish the principal strokes. So today,、uh, type is created and set by digital and photographic methods. The design of typefaces continues to be an important and、uh, often highly specialized field. And graphic designers have literally thousands of styles to choose from. And having selected typeface, a designer's next concern is layout. So、um, uh, layout or、um, how text and the、uh, you know images appear on the pages like this. So layout is significant in design because one of the most important tasks of a graphic designer is. To devise visual presentations that make potentially confusing information easier to grasp. So、um, it indicates such、um, specifications as the dimensions of the page, the width of the margins, the sizes and styles of type for text and headings. So the style and、uh, placement of running heads or feet, and、uh, many other elements. Now let's see the third、uh, graphic design factor: word and image. So handed out to town dwellers and posted in public spaces,、um, the broad size argued、uh, political or religious causes. Told of、uh, recent events, advertised upcoming festivals or and fairs, or a、uh, circulated woodcut portrait of civic and religious leaders. So they are, they are、um, the direct ancestors not only of、um, advertising and posters, but also of leaflets, brochures. Newspapers and magazines. So, with the development of color lithography in the 19th century, posters、um, came into their own as the most eye-catching、uh, form of advertising. So, this is the、uh, famous. Um, 1942 poster,、uh, "We Can Do It" by、um, Howard Miller. So this、uh, poster pictures one of the many women、uh, who joined the workforce during World War II. So the poster's、uh, inspirational slogan and the woman's arm、uh, are the focal point. And the figure and the text、uh, stand out from the background,、uh, thanks to the use of saturated complementary color like blue and yellow. So repeated curving shapes and lines、uh, tie the work together to create an effective and powerful message. And the last one, motion and interactivity. So, with the development of film and television, 
Graphic design was set in motion. Words and images work together in film titles, uh, television program titles, and advertisements, all of which needed to be designed. So with the digital revolution, a new element was added for designers to work with uh, interactivity. So the possibility of give and take between users and technology by means of an uh, interface. So there is a, a beautiful motion graphic video in the Moodle room um, in the 9.1 page. So please watch this uh, motion graphic video after this meeting. So graphic design is all around us. So part of the look of daily life Many art museums maintain collection of graphic design, which overlaps with art in interesting ways. And many artists have worked as graphic designers, just like me. And many graphic designers also make art. So for better understand graphic design or communication design, please read the e-textbook in the Moodle room. And uh, we have a discussion related to this chapter. So um, we're going to finish the meeting a little bit earlier than usual uh, because this chapter is very short. But the discussion topic is going to be fun. So this is the topic. Um, what is your favorite design product? Or uh, who is your favorite designer? So post your favorite design image and tell us why. So this is today's topic. So um, to post to your discussion, please go to uh, discussion 9.1 in week nine. Professor. Yes. Uh, you said um, 